What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and in today's video, I'm gonna be going into the nitty gritty details of Fundrise. I'm gonna be covering um, an in-depth review. I'm gonna be taking you into the back end with my account, showing you exactly what I like, what I don't like. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna actually going over all of my returns after being invested with them for over a year and a half now. So stay tuned to the end. Before jumping into it, I wanna disclose that I am an investor with Fundrise. I have capital invested with them for a year and a half now. I'm gonna be investing with them for the foreseeable future. I do like their real estate platform. So just a, just a disclaimer up front, I wanted to be be transparent with everybody before jumping into this review. Now let's get into the review. Oh, and before that, please like the video if you get any value out of this. I really appreciate that. It helps the YouTube channel a lot. I'm getting close to 100 subscribers and I'm gonna be releasing an awesome video when I get there. So please like the video, um, it helps the YouTube channel. So with that, let's hop right in. What exactly is Fundrise? Fundrise is an online crowdfunded real estate investing platform that lets anyone even non-accredited investors, so the average investor, invest into private, commercial, and residential properties by pooling their assets through their investment platform. This is really critical for average investors like you and me, where you know you don't have to have a significant amount of wealth to get into these private, commercial, and real uh, residential real estate deals. Their main products are real estate investment trusts or REITs or REITs. These typically invest in income producing real estate. Fundrise calls them E-REITs. Fundrise also offers E-funds, which also pool uh, investors capital. But instead of buying already developed properties and fixing them up, they buy the land, they develop new housing on it, and then they sell them to home buyers. So now I'm gonna jump into what makes Fundrise unique and why I chose to invest with them. As I mentioned before, Fundrise offers the average investor like myself, the ability to invest in private real estate instead of having to have massive wealth or you know other people's money, you can invest with them. They do all the deals, they do all the work, they manage all the projects, and you realize as the investor the dividends, the cash flow, and the appreciation in the long term with them. On their site, Fundrise claims that the level of private real estate investing that they offer and their low fees and low minimum investment used to be fee written, tech resistant and inaccessible for everyone but the wealthiest, most well-connected investors. Think of Grant Cardone, you guys probably know him, Cardone Capital. Basically similar to what they're referring to here, someone who has a lot of wealth, who's used other people's money and has gotten through accredited investors, the large capital needed to purchase large amounts of real estate properties. They also claim that they have paired smart technology through their platform, um, with deep real estate expertise to offer the same type of investment opportunity to everyone, regardless of net worth, all while minimizing fees, increasing transparency, and improving long-term potential. So before we hop into my returns, I wanna get into what they claim on their website with their earnings over the past year and how they earn their money. So Fundrise investments generate returns in two forms, dividends and appreciation on their property. Starting with appreciation, which is a longer-term investment strategy, it waits for the overall value of the property to increase after they purchase it. Although it may show on paper, the appreciation isn't fully realized until the property is sold. So if they buy it at 100,000 and they sell it 200,000, that $100,000 in profit is not realized until the property is sold. It can be there on uh, paper if they appraise it, but it's really not realized until the property is sold to another buyer. Fundrise's strategy for appreciation is broken down into three steps on their site. Step one is to acquire assets with a high potential to grow in value. Step two, improve the real estate to increase the sale price. So in the long term, they want that value to be increased. So that way when they sell it, they realize that profit. And step three, they realize their returns mostly at the end when the property is sold for a profit. So on their site, it says all of Fundrise real estate is acquired with the intent of earning returns through its eventual appreciation. Even if it is a dividend or cash flowing property, it's bought with the intent of realizing appreciation in the, in the long term as well. Investors who are interested in maximizing their overall returns over a longer time horizon can do so with Fundrise appreciation focused long-term growth plans. So these are gonna be plans that you're invested in for five, 10 years without selling. So this actually brings me to the second form of income through Fundrise and how they generate returns. This is their dividends. And basically their dividends and their properties are 
cash flow on the property itself. Dividends are often generated through renters, rental income, and general just income through the property itself. Think of this as the very common strategy of buy and hold rental properties, people who own hundreds of units and are realizing a couple hundred dollars per month in cash flow on each of those units. It starts adding up over time. You start building that equity as the people pay you. And it ultimately is the reason why so many people want to get into real estate is to build that equity, but also to have that passive cash flow. So many Fundrise investments actually contain properties that produce cash flow, and these dividends get distributed on a quarterly basis. So Fundrise's strategy when it comes to this type of property is also broken down into three steps on their site. So step one, they acquire assets that generate consistent cash flow. Step two, they improve the real estate to increase margin of safety, which basically means they renovate the property to increase uh, the cash flow and the value of the property in the long term. In step three, they realize the returns over time, as I mentioned, through the monthly rental property, uh, cash flow. Just like the appreciation focused investors, there is a plan dedicated to investors who are looking for more income based investing. So they actually have their cash flow generating real estate with Fundrise's supplemental income plan. And for the investor who wants a balanced mix, uh, they do have a balanced portfolio for, you know, just the right amount of supplemental income and appreciation. You know, one last thing before jumping into my account, I want to touch on exactly what types of properties Fundrise invests in. Uh, one of the benefits of investing with Fundrise is you get a in-depth look at all the projects that they're working on that's a part of your portfolio. I love this part because it really educates me on the deals that they're making, how they're planning on realizing their returns with it, and it really makes me feel good about investing with Fundrise as a long-term strategy. So as I mentioned earlier, Fundrise invests in both commercial and residential real estate deals, including single family, multifamily rental properties, for sale housing, hotels, retail space, and office buildings. I do want to mention that Fundrise does charge fees, albeit smaller than other REITs, they still charge them. On their website, they mentioned that one of the keys to their business model is their ability to ruthlessly minimize fees by eliminating the typical industry inefficiencies by, uh, they then charge annual advisory fees of 0.15% and an annual management fee of 0.85%, totaling 1% annually of your account that you have invested with them. Okay, so now I'm gonna hop into my computer and show you the details of my account and how their platform works. I'm gonna highlight some of the things that I really like and I'm gonna show you how much uh, I've earned over the past one and a half years of being invested with them with a relatively small account. Like I said, I'm gonna be uh, continuing to invest with them with the f for the foreseeable future. So stay tuned for more updates and I will see you uh, in my account. Let's go. Okay guys, so this is what you'll see when you first log into your account. This is the overview, basically your dashboard. And what you'll see here, um, I have an account, my total right now is around $2,817.54. But what you'll see here is net returns to date. So since June of 2019, um, when I first deposited $1,000 with them, um, I've basically had $317 uh, returned um, over that year and a half. This is really, really good. Um, I'm basically at the core account level and my investment plan is a supplemental income. So when I chose Fundrise, like I said, I really wanted something that was a passive, uh, basically income. And Fundrise has done just that. Um, what you can really see here is the returns and your, your, your graph, which charts your entire historical account value. And I really, really like this. So as you can see, um, they show you basically on a day-to-day -day basis. So I invested on July 1st. Um, at the end of June and um, you can see here that every single day they have an increase um, you can see that just by like that little um, increase every single day um, it's only a few cents uh, but what you can start to see is you know every single day if you're making 25 cents you can do the math and what you'll make in a month and what you make in a quarter so I did the math and I was you know at this point I was making like nine or ten percent every uh, if like annualized so I put in another $1,000 uh, in September and um, basically almost doubled the daily dividends that I was getting in my account. And I really, really like the way that they, they show this in their account. Now I started to add a few hundred dollars, you know, whenever I had the chance. Um, and I eventually made it up to, 
2500 which I've you know added myself as my own capital and as you can see my accounts value is still at 2817 so a total of $317 made through their account um, in the past year and a half of invested now here you'll see um, the, the most recent so 2021 year to date actual uh, since you know the beginning of the year and I'm recording this uh, at the end of January um, already twelve dollars and seven cents a uh, year to date um, as you can see all time my account is a supplemental income so it's gonna be more on the dividend side than on the appreciation side as you can see here um, for the first year, I did not get charged advisory fees. That was part of the sign-up bonus was 365 days of free management. And, um, but they just recently started charging me. So of all time, I've only been charged $1.93, which to be honest is, is nothing um, compared to how much I've, I've gotten in dividends. That's, that's like a couple of days based on my account and how many dividends I'm getting per day. Um, what I really like about this is it breaks down your entire portfolio into each um, of the ratings that they give their projects, the equity and debt. So, you know, how much of their, their properties are financed through debt and equity um, of the properties, how much, you know, is owned through the project. Um, I really, really like all of these, these breakdowns based on, you know, the stock market performance, Fundrise and other REITs. Um, so obviously Fundrise has been uh, outperforming other REITs in 2020, especially in a really, really weird and crazy year around the market. Um, you know, some commercial real estate did not do so well. Um, so Fundrise actually had a pretty good year, uh, you know, despite what happened. And you know, if we keep scrolling down here, you'll see right here is where they keep you updated on all of your recent dividends. So they do divvy out your dividends on a quarterly basis, even though they show you what you're making per day in your account, you actually get the dividend at the end of the quarter. And as you can see here, my Q4 2020 dividend was $42 and 25 cents. And I like how it's all just broken out here. You, there's no calculations or anything. And what I'm gonna hop into here is actually the best part about this. So myself, I wanna become a real estate investor and, and own a few of my own properties. And this is really exciting for me because when you're invested with Fundrise, anything that your portfolio is, you know, any project, they call them, that your portfolio has, they do an in-depth breakdown of that project, why they bought it, the type of, you know, financing they used, um, exactly what they expect to, you know, get from it and the, 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 you know, return on the investment or the cash flow from the property itself, whether it's, you know, they want to buy and hold it and, and collect the rental or if they're kind of sitting on it for the appreciation value, as I mentioned earlier in the video. So we'll just click into here, um, new acquisition, stabilized apartments in South Florida. So they always tell you where the, the, you know, investment is. Um, what kind of property it is, whether it's commercial, residential, or both. Some of their properties are both. Down here, you'll see projected annual return was 9.1%, which is really, really good. Um, you know, most investments on average, uh, you know, around eight, seven or 8%. Um, so 9% is great. Um, new investment fits into our broader strategy to invest in affordably priced apartments across the Sun Belt. And then they do a good job of taking pictures and um, of the property. And then they have someone do a really, really good in-depth breakdown of their investment and their plan and about the, the property, if it's an older property, if it's a newer property, any renovations they plan on doing, you know, how many people are, you know, already tenants, current tenants, expected tenants. And, you know, they're even doing stuff on, on COVID-19, which is really appreciative. Um, you know, I like to see that, you know, how they're handling it and, you know, if they're being responsible around that, which is awesome. Um, they'll tell you, you know, the rating and, you know, these can range, you know, all the way from D, uh, to, to level A. Um, so really, really, uh, really, really enjoy this. Um, let's hop into portfolio here. So what you'll see here is basically when you invest with them, they, they break their portfolios out into shares and you're basically investing into their e-reads. 
And since I've invested, you know, $1,000 in the beginning, then I invested another $1,000, then I've invested a couple hundred dollars here and there, my portfolio is spread out uh, between all of these different REITs. So once a REIT uh, is, you know, at a, they, they continue to build out these REITs and, you know, based on the shares that you have in them, they either pay you a dividend or the shares increase in value. Um, so as you can see here, the most, uh, the largest percent of my portfolio is in this income e in 2019, which makes sense because I invested a large amount of my, my money of my account in 2019 and it put most of these, these shares, um, I bought most of these shares at, uh, in 2019 at $900. So I think I got, I think they're $10 a share when you buy them. I think I got like 90 shares and now their estimated value is around $913. So basically um, the position appreciates, the shares appreciate. So when you want to sh sell them, I would get this $919 and get that appreciation. But I've also collected those dividends from these shares as well. So that's kind of how you get your returns in your account. So the dividends I've already been paid out. But this, you know, this $13 um, based on their estimated value of the shares, if they were to sell them today to another investor, um, basically I would get that extra $13 in, $13 in appreciation, if that makes any sense. So as you can see here, it kind of spread out and, and less and less uh, percentage of my portfolio is in, is in these other E-REITs as I invested those, you know, extra couple hundred dollars that I invested over time. So in total, um, the total value is around $2,817, as I mentioned here. And here's my 103 active projects, right? So you can click in and read about every single one of these, and they're all over the country, right? So Florida, California, Texas, Texas, Arizona, um, North Carolina, they do, they do investment all over the country, wherever they see value, they're really spreading this thin. And, and the really thing, the thing I like about this is if you're, you know, your own investor and you're kind of coming up with your own capital to make, you know, invest in projects. Yeah. You're getting all that, that return is going to you rather than being spread out through all the investors that are pooled in each of these projects, but you're really not getting that that uh, diversified portfolio that they have here, uh, which I really, really enjoy, um, just being diversified through all these different markets, which, you know, you can't go wrong with being this diversified. And it's, you know, diversified across commercial, residential, um, single family homes, as I mentioned, all those different, you know, properties that they invest in. Uh, I have 103 active projects that all of my shares are invested in. Um, which is really, you know, a good diversified portfolio, as I mentioned here. And you can see different, um, you know, ratings here. I have a few um, A level, a lot of B level, um, B2, B3, C1, all the way down to around D3. So there you go. And last but not least, here it'll show you the breakdown of your entire perform performance since you've been invested. So mine starts in 2019 and it says partial since um, I you know, invested halfway through 2019. But as you can see here, uh, based on the amount of money that you put in, uh, basically I made 4.3% return on my investment in 2019 for those roughly six months that I was invested. In 2020, I made around 9.2% return on my investment. And so far in 2021, I've already made half a percent. So there you go, that's percentage. And you can switch it over to dollar value. So in 2019, I made $70.15. Um, that's a mixture of both dividends and um, appreciation. As you can see here, it breaks down every single position that you're in. 2020, I made 235. So I started to ramp up. I put more money in. I'm gonna start putting more money in now that I'm seeing this and in, in, uh, in, in its full form. And so far, without even a month into 2021, $11.82. Um, so really good performance, in in my opinion. Um, you know, I highly recommend Fundrise for the average investor who wants to get started in real estate. Kind of wants to get involved in some projects, but doesn't really know how to go about it just yet. 
um, doing it on your own or you know doesn't want to pay those those crazy fees with the other e-reits or the other reits um, that you would you know maybe buy on on Wall Street through a stop um, and just really quickly you can see that these say operating um, if we click here it'll say operating is the phase of an e-reit or e-fund that is focused primarily on managing the existing projects while continuing to execute any remaining value add plans so they've already bought all the properties now they're just finishing up all of their renovations or value add plans as you can see down here we have stabilizing Stabilizing is the phase of an e-reit or e-fund that is focused primarily on executing value add plans for existing projects while continuing to raise capital and acquire projects. So they're still in the, you know, project acquisition phase, but they're mainly adding value. Whereas in the operating, they're not acquiring any more properties in that specific e-reit. They're mainly just doing value add. This one is value add and uh, project, you know, property acquisition. And then as you see down here, ramping up, um, this is the initial phase of an ERE or E-Fund that is focused primarily on raising capital and acquiring projects. So this is before the value add. This is going to be where they're, um, you know, basically acquiring as many projects into this. Then they're going to start, you know, adding value. And based on your portfolio, whether it's an income or a growth REIT, um, you know, basically long term or if they're going to start, you know, having those dividends be dispersed on a quarterly basis. So as you can see, it's fairly balanced. I have a lot of operating. There's one stabilizing and a few ramping up, which I'll be excited to see because after they're done ramping up is when you start to see the, the dividends and the, the actualization of the returns on your investment, which is really good. And with that, I'm going to, you know, that is my entire account. And um, going back to the, the first page here, just want to just want to say, um, you know, I really recommend really recommend Fundrise if you want to get started in real estate investing. It's one of those things that, um, you know, everybody should have real estate as part of their portfolio. A diversified diversified portfolio should include some form of real estate. And I just really like the way the Fundrise handles their their projects. There's really nothing negative to say. I guess the only thing that I would say is. You should not invest in Fundrise if you want an investment that you can get out of quickly. So don't invest in Fundrise any money that you know you need to get back right away. Or you know it's 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 a pretty non-liquid um, form of investment. So I think that if you wanted to sell your funds and get your investment back before you know a, a certain amount of time, they recommend um, like five years to be invested in them. But you can kind of pull your money out at any time. But it might take up to I think 90 days to get your investment um, and you really won't realize the the amount of returns that you could get so Fundrise is really a long-term play so for someone who's wanting to invest for five years or you know get some supplemental income this is a really good way to invest I really recommend Fundrise um, with that I appreciate you staying tuned uh, this long I know it's might have been a longer video these reviews are typically longer I'm gonna be doing more reviews I'm gonna be, I'm planning one for Acorns. I, I do have an Acorns account, which, you know, I really like. Please, if you like this video, please like the video. It really does a lot for me. Um, and the YouTube channel, it pushes this video out to other people who might be looking for Fundrise information or review. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe. I'm gonna be planning a special video for my 100 subscriber mark and I'm almost there. And I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. You know, this channel is only a few months old. And it's really grown um, and I see the growth is starting to pick up a lot now. We're picking up momentum and I'm really excited about making more videos. So please stay tuned. And um, you know, anything that you can do to help this channel, I really appreciate like, comment, share. I'm gonna be responding to all comments down below. Um, I really wanna start engaging with my community and the people who you know are watching these videos. So um, you know, like I said, like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for the next video I'm gonna be doing on Acorns.